So 343 just gave us a bunch of information about the flood recently. I'm sure we all saw this within the New Dawn trailer, tech demo foundry thing, and people kind of lost their minds a little bit when it came to seeing the flood again in a Halo game. Like, yeah, we had it in Halo Wars, we had it in some external lore and stuff like that, but nothing like a mainline game. I think the last time we really had the flood in a mainline game was well, it had to have been the Halo 3, if I remember correctly, which just seems insane to think about. I mean, I remember back when we were talking about Halo Infinite, I was like, for sure, the Flood's coming back. And well, that didn't exactly happen. But uh, one thing we did just recently get from 343, which I think kind of like hints to more than just the potential return of the Flood coming back to Halo Infinite. But I think more about saying like, there's something extra we're going to get when the Flood do return in Halo Infinite. Because like, why make an entire biome talking about the Flood, right? It's more than just vibes that what this uh, Project Foundry was about. Uh, they even stated it right here, saying it's a multi-discipline research project titled Project Foundry, which is designed to explore the creative potential of Unreal for the next generation of Halo games, plural by the way. And they showcase the Blight Lands, which we've never really had like an entire biome taken over by the Flood. Besides, of course, the mission Cortana in Halo 3, which I think it really is like the only time I really had like a fully encompassed Flood biome to battle in. And this was in 2007. So yeah, technology has improved a little bit since then where we really could bring the experience of what it's like to be in a Flood biome to life. So in this blog update, they reference multiple things about the Flood being in Halo, right? Uh, they also stated like how it can be much more than just like something can take over like sentient life, right? So the Flood is capable of adjusting local environments to create the optimal conditions for spreading the Flood supercell. So that's like something else right there we don't really see much of when it comes to the games in particular, right? We do see like in action a little bit. Uh, but not a whole lot. Like I said, like examples of the Blightlands encountered in previous games included infested exteriors of the Shield World Trove in Halo Wars. And then we scroll down a little bit more again in the simulations of New Mombasa, where that's what New Mombasa would have looked like if Artas Vadum didn't do his thing by glassing part of the planet to stop the flood. And also combat evolved anniversary terminals with guilt 343 Guilty Spark. Uh, terminals in there but again like these are all external kind of things no mainline games again also with high charity on the arc uh with the awakening the nightmare expansion for halo wars 2 which that was incredible but again like nothing in a mainline game so it's like why put so much emphasis on this right now out of all the times like it probably is the most interesting biome out of all the things that we saw when it came to the uh new dawn trailer right but i think it's also kind of showcasing that this uh trailer uh foundry the hate project foundry was much more than just like a cool tech demo they even stated this within uh the video itself so i kind of wanted to showcase to that to you guys as well it's not a game it's a research project for our studio so we can prepare ourselves for the next steps of making halo games like that right there in particular right where it's preparing themselves for the next generation either that might be when it comes to how they develop halo like a perfect example just like quick little hit of just like well, how does the art team play a factor? How does the animation team play a factor? How does the modeling team play a factor? And creating something that's Halo-like. Like this, even though it does look awesome, wouldn't be very suitable to gameplay. If anything, it feels kind of almost like a one-third size diorama of an environment you would have for a playable experience for a Halo game. So it's more like importing assets, creating similar types of environments. I mean, also another clip right here from the same uh, trailer or i keep calling it a trailer but the a new dawn video talking about how this is made to utilize current assets import them into unreal as stated right here in this section we're together foundry was an initiative that touched on every part of the creative process everything from concept art vfx characters vehicles and weapons to make the future games of halo exactly what i was just talking about was just an example of like if we are making things within Unreal, what does that look like? What does that look like for the team to make this kind of stuff a reality, right? 
And also in this next little section right here, it talks about how about utilizing current assets within Halo, putting them in the Unreal to have a new level of fidelity. Creating an asset, taking this design, now we can really dig into material foundations. What is it actually made of? How is it physically accurate um, to the world? Now we get to take all the, the wonderful legacy assets that we have, bring them to life and bring them to uh, today's standards. The legacy assets is what I'm talking about here. Like I mentioned previously in a video as well, where like this Mass Chief in particular, it wasn't, um, I really don't believe it was modeled for uh, this uh, demo. Like, oh, I can't go, it's not a demo, but like a research project, I guess you call it. It's a really weird blue uh, gray area. I don't know why I said blue there, but you go know what I mean. <laughs> but uh, because I even I talked with when I was at the event for HTS when this was revealed, I talked to some uh, thumbnail artists out there who spend hours and hours looking at these character models, and they're like, "Oh yeah, this is the Master Chief that's in, the CE Master Chief that's in Halo Infinite right now that you can purchase for I think like twenty bucks." And yeah, that they got me on that one. It, I'm a CE fanboy. What can I say? But. Uh, they were looking at this model, like these are all Halo Infinite models that were put into the Unreal Engine as well. Again, like as a project to showcase like how they would go about making a Halo game, but kind of rounding it back to uh, the flood here, right? And the blight fields and things like that. I think what they're doing is like, okay, if we're gonna bring back the flood, what does that look like? How does that function within the team? And what kind of art styles can we go with? Like they didn't stay, they did stay within the New Dawn video that they were looking to kind of just, you know, crank up the artistic style to like 12 really to make it so that it really gets the vibes, not necessarily um, something you would actually play, but also kind of help build up new assets that you would find for the next Halo game. Uh, there was one section in particular here where they talked about like how the flood does more than just take over sentient beings right here, saying that it's not simply a native life that consumes all in the local area, but the vitality of the soil and even the solar energy all contributed towards transforming lands into a nightmarish plague fields. Now, it just seems like, obviously it might be just something kind of cool to kind of talk about when it comes to making the next Halo game, but it makes me wonder if like this is like maybe potentially some new mechanics that we would experience in the next game about like what would it look like if the flood completely took over an area and would this potentially be something that players could fight against to really make it feel like we can have like a tug of war kind of experience against the flood rather than having this like a scripted narrative experience that we've played through that we've had previously within the halo franchise there's a lot of different things that uh the halo studios could go about making this experience right but i think that'd be a really interesting thing to really kind of like see like what could it look like if we can have like almost like a dynamic system for the flood which would be super cool to think about right like having the ability to like i said have this tug of war with the flood and maybe like it really is like a big battle between like the UNSC and even the banish if we want to continue on with the current uh, story arc which we've talked about previously it could be potentially tossed away completely. Uh, again, if you want to watch my previous videos, kind of going more in depth about that when it comes to like what a CE remake would look like. But what if like you have like your classic Covenant UNSC fighting against the Flood, and it's like back and forth between the two, the two, three sides really, or two sides to see like who would actually win. I don't know. That just sounds like something that would be really exciting. Because I just felt like when I was reading the blog, I was like, there, I feel like there's another reason why you would focus so much on like the flood, the Blightlands in particular, because never really experienced that within a main Halo game. There was a little bit of that within Halo Wars 2, uh, but not then like nothing like this. Like, oh, if, for to my memory, maybe, maybe it would wake in a nightmare, but I never played the DLC because I didn't want to spend the money on it. Uh, but I mean, there's something there, right? I think there's something going on here. I think it's almost fully confirms that the flood's going to return in some capacity like why make the flood if you're not going to put it in the next game it just wouldn't make a whole lot of sense right especially with foundry being much more of a research project that potentially build up some assets that they could utilize in a future halo game i don't know let me know what you guys think 
in the comments down below. If you guys made it this far in the video and want to see more content like this, let me know, let me know by tapping like. And if you want to just leave a green heart, let me know who the real ones are who made it to the end of the video. Always appreciate it. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. Check out my older videos right here. If you missed anything from recently, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.